Hey, what's up everyone? So today's video, I'm just gonna have a go at water cooling this speed controller. So now the reason for, a, eh. so the reason I'm doing this for is I had just recently did some work on my jet boat and then I was having some problems with the speed controller just dying out, it wasn't working properly at all. So I thought, well, I don't have any other uh, marine speed controllers, I might as well just make one. So I've got this little 2S speed controller here. We're going to pop off the casing around it. And instead of having this heat sink on top, we will be putting this water block. It's just about the perfect size for it. So that should work well. I'll probably put some liquid electrical tape on it to help keep the water out. I know there's better products for waterproofing, but that's all that I have. All right, well, enough of this talk, and let me just start taking this thing apart. Oh, drop my knife. All right, so we got a few little plastic tabs that need to be cut out in the corners that are holding this heat sink on. There we go. Now to get the aluminum heat sink off the top of the, the uh, chips there. I think that's on there quite well. And I've dropped it. Alright, so I'm just going to very carefully slip the knife between the chip and the heat sink. See if I can just loosen that up. I need to be pretty careful here so we don't damage the chips. Wow, that's really on there. I'm just going to do this off camera as it'll be a little bit easier and I'll have less chances of breaking it. Uh, back in a minute. All right, so I was able to just pop it off. I really just had to go slow and careful. And I don't think I damaged any of the chips while getting the heat sink off there. It was really stuck on quite well. All right, let me just see if I can clean some of this crap up off here. And then we'll get on to the next part. So I got most of the crap off as you can see. There's still a tiny bit left but I'm not going to worry about it. I just basically had to use a knife and scrape it off. This took me about 10 minutes I'd guess. So my speed controller or the water block will sit on right like this. Should make pretty good contact with the six chips. Then we should have a water cooled speed controller. Well, I was thinking I would reuse the bottom of the case here. What I may end up doing is just putting the, or the water block on top and coating the entire thing in this liquid, liquid electrical tape and uh, just see how that does. I think that's what I'll do actually. So I'm not going to reuse the case. However, before I put the water block on, I'm going to use just a tiny bit of thermal compound. This is for building computers for the, the CPU. However, this will do the same trick here. So just a tiny little bit on each little pad there. And just give a little bit better heat transfer. Alright, now make sure the speed controller bottom is nice and clean. Or the water block bottom is nice and clean and dry. Just like that. So now the goal is to leave this somewhere where it's not going to get messed up while I get the next part ready. Alright, so I need to be pretty careful I don't disturb how the water block is sitting on those chips. But I'm going to start covering it in the liquid electrical tape now. And then once that dries, probably just going to sleeve the whole thing in a big piece of shrink tubing, provided that I have a big piece of shrink tubing. I'm pretty sure I do have a big one that'll fit. 
just need to be real careful because this will slide around really easy on here. Still need a better place to put this down. Maybe actually a battery would work. Oh, that's perfect. All right, time for the liquid electrical tape. This is actually a fairly old bottle of it. So I hope it still works well. I'd say it's at least five years old. Maybe four. So yeah, it's fairly old. Looks to be all right. Maybe not quite as runny as it should be, but I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've used it. Well, I think it's good. It may not actually be good now that I'm getting it on here. It looks a little clumpy. No turning back now, though. I'm just going to let that dry until it's time to do another coat. So the liquid electrical tape has dried. As you can see there, it's all looking fairly sealed up. Now I would have done something differently had I thought about this a little bit more. When I first put the water block on with the thermal paste onto the chips, I should have used the zip tie right away to um, hold it down instead of just using gravity to hold it down. That would have made it a lot easier and less fidgety. So that's definitely one thing I would have done better. Other than that though, I think this has uh, turned out fairly well. I, mean, I haven't actually tested it yet, but pretty sure it's still gonna work well. So there's just one thing left to do, and that is I think I'm just gonna put some heat shrink around it just to give it a little bit more protection. Probably doesn't really need it, but I figure why not? Makes it look a little bit better too. So I've already cut this to the proper length. Should go on about like that, <clears throat> excuse me. And let's get the heat gun out. All right, I think that's probably good. So there. Now I guess we can go test out this new water or this water cooled uh, speed controller now. I guess we'll just be doing it in that blue tub like I did last time. All right, well, let me get everything together and I'll see you guys out there in a second. All right, so we're back in the blue tub to quickly test this here. See how well it goes. <laughs> I'd say that's working pretty good. I better be careful I don't get water in this now. Well, now that it looks like it's working well, I guess it's time to take it down to the creek. I guess that'll probably be my next video. I'll see you guys then. If you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions, make sure to leave them below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.